Hi, I'm Richard. Today I want to tell you the 8 steps to build iOS apps. The first step is the idea. Every iOS apps is born from an idea. Um, maybe you thought about it when you were uh, in the bathroom or while running. It doesn't matter where. What matters is is it a good idea? Yesterday I thought about building uh, an app where users post photos. But wait, is the same as Instagram? Why would people leave Instagram to choose my app? Why? You have to check if the idea is good. Ask many people if they would use it. Um, ask for reasons. The second step is why. Why should you create an app? Sometimes it's better and faster to create a website, but if there's a large need to perform actions like touching the screen, um, probably it's better to build an app. For example, if I need to tell my followers that on Monday and Wednesday I will answer all the questions, then I don't need an app. Um, it will be useless, because in this moment, in this case, sorry, um, it's better to create a website. The third step takes care of the design. Do you prefer this app or this one? An app doesn't just have to work, it also has to be beautiful. I use Sketch to create the app design or Adobe XD um, on Windows. Anyway, there's a word to know about the app design. Um, you must know what the first thing that the user has to see. Um, the colors, the combination of colors and many, many other notions. And for this reason, I consider the design, the app design, um, one of the most important part of an application. The fourth step is, of course, the development. There isn't so much to say here. Um, you must know the programming languages and you must know the software that allow you to um, write the programming languages. Currently I'm learning Swift, the programming languages created by Apple and I'm using Xcode, the software created by Apple again and it's available on um, I think in the App Store, yeah. Developing an app is um, a long phase but it's also the most important part. Now comes the fifth phase, um, the test. An application must work perfectly, um, there must be no um, bugs or holes and it's important that the application works on every iOS um, devices. For example, um, this is my uh, iPhone 8 Plus and my sister has the uh, iPhone 11. The screens are different. Um, the resolution is different and for example my iPhone doesn't have the notch. All these differences are important and you need to take care of them. It's time to publish your app. Is the design perfect? Um, does the app work on all devices? Great! Now it's time to launch it and make it public on the App Store where people can download and use it. The seventh phase concern uh, marketing. The world of apps is growing day by day and it can be difficult to find your app among millions of others. So you have to worry um, about marketing, you have to reach many people and you have to find a way um, to make your fantastic app known to many other people. The last step is maintenance and updates, perhaps the most overlooked. An app without updates um, is destined to die, so keep your app alive. These are the 8 basic steps to build uh, NIS apps. Um, I use these 8 steps to build um, most of my iOS apps and it's important to do all of them. Hope you enjoyed this video and if you have got any question please write it in the comments below. See you.